there. We're going to try a drop on them and see if it is or not. So what are you, you're using a sabiki? Yep, sabiki. Just you buy them from any bait and tackle store. Let me show you what a pack of sabikis look like. We go to Stabby Dave's here in Newport. Stabby. Can't beat them. Stab Stabby? Stabby. <clears throat> I've been saying Stabby. It's Stabby. What's on my mind? Um, it's Stabby. Excuse Oh, no. Nope. Oh, here we go. This is what you want to get. Oh! Oh, fish! Oh, fish on! Oh my gosh! Sabikis. Oh, I lost him. Oh no, he's gone. Whoo! We had a runner there for a second. So you don't need a giant rod. I got my little trout rod. Oh! Oh! I just got my wee little trout rod. It's actually kind of fun to lighter tackle. I don't know. Brings out the kid in you. Little one ounce weight. That's all you need, really. I mean, if it's ripping, you want to go a little heavier. My special technique is to let it rip up like that, get their attention, and then let it go back down. Pretty much professional now. Been doing this for like two days. Oh, little jiggies. Little jiggies. So what you don't want to do is like set the hook super hard. You'll rip it right out of the mouth. Oh, you got one? Oh, oh. I was using red sabikis. I don't know, maybe color, there's a difference. I don't know, but I wasn't doing too well. And then I switched over to green and it was on fire. Whoa, Jake's on. That's what we're after, folks. Look at this. It's amazing. So herring, everything wants to eat a herring. These are Pacific herring. Look at that bad boy. Now that's a little big for salmon chunks, you were saying? Yeah, these are perfect halibut and lingcod baits, and that's what I'm using them for. And Jake's going to put them in there in a special special little mix I'm going to show you right now. All right, folks, this is what you want to do for herring. You got your five-gallon bucket. Add a, little wa add a little water. How much water, Jake? About that much? A little bit more? A little more. A little more water. Oh, that'll do it. Look at that. Water in there. And then you're going to need your ice. Got to bring ice. Ice in bucket. And on the deck. A little bit more on the deck. There you have it. And then the most important ingredient, uh-oh. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. The ice got wet. Do you have any ice or uh, salt. salt? I used it. You're all right without it. But it's not just, oh, it's fail. But uh, Jake added, what, cup, cup and a half, uh, rock salt? Yeah, that's a pound, so about a cup. Okay. And then a cup of rock salt and they, they freeze up and they stay firm and that's kind of the point, right Jake? Yeah, keep them firm, <clears throat> that way they last longer and if they do get bit by something, they, they stay on the hook better when they are getting bit. All right, so I don't know if you heard that, but it's good to have ice and rock salt in there because they firm up and they, they not freeze, but they, what's the word for it? They preserve better. They preserve better is what I'm trying to say. So ice, rock salt, and that helps uh, to preser preserve the herring, uh, keep them firm. So yeah, and you want them firm because if something bites them, they don't rip, uh, rip off the hook. All right, I gotta get to fishing. Jake is kicking my ass. Now, what kind of boat is that? <laughs> Jake and I, Star Wars, we're a Star Wars boat. We're talking boats. It's a older King, Kingfisher, and then Star Wars boat is what that one is now. Oh, ooh, I'm on. Look at that. It's a secret rod. It's a secret rod. It's just loading up right there. Oh, I better reel it in. Oh, oh no. Almost lost my rod. Here we go. Come with me, folks, on this herring journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I lost them. We are now tied. Feeling pretty good. Nice day out. It was blowing and shoot, it was 
Well, frankly, it was just out yesterday. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. Pulled my kid out of school, took him down here. We spent a minute on the dock and he said, Dad, I want to go home. And that's how that went. Oh yeah, look at the bend in that rod. Oh, oh holy smokes. Oh, Jake's on. Oh, yes! What? Yes! All right, Jake. <laughs> Leave it to the professional. How? That's four on there? Holy four. moly. See, what you got to do is leave it down there. So Jake's professional advice is, you got one on, don't bother reeling it up right away. Maybe let it load up on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's oh, the mother load. Oh, I just snapped oh. the head. That's why. Bummer. Oh, 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 I'm pitted, bro. Look at that. Oh, Two for man. three for four. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. We lost one. Three for, right. It's back to a three oh, for. Still. Still got <laughs> well, I had the record there for four and lost it. Jake is still the title holder. For four or three? Four. Oh, man. Oh, no, I got a fiver. I got, did you? One. I gotta get a well, sixer. Not my first so is that pretty unusual? Huh? Is that unusual for a sardine to be in here? Uh, no. But, I mean, it'd be cool if there's lots of them. Yeah. Oh, we got a run. What the? I got a sea lion. I got a sea lion, guys. Oh, oh come back. Sweet. <laughs> 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 Never know what you're gonna catch. <laughs> so do you think I had a herring and then he took off yeah. with my herring? Yeah. Well, sea lion. You know how we love those guys. Ugh. Oh, loading up. Gotta have patience. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. Got a reel. I have patience, but not that much patience. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Jake, what are we at? Oh, four, I thought we had five, dang. Okay, the record is five. Yeah, buddy. Num yum. Thanks, bud. All right. Herring fishing challenge completed. Dockside has bait. Jake has bait. I have bait. Now we go vacuum pack. I'll show you the process. Here we go. All right, we made it back to headquarters. And now we're gonna vacuum pack two limits of herring. It's gonna take a bit, but it's important because quality bait is important. Right, Jake? Right. It is. He's as thrilled as I am. All right, let's get it going. Take the herring, put it in the back. Here, here, nice and flat. In the back. You got your desired amount laid nice and flat in the bag. Put them in the vacuum sealer. And start another bag. And repeat until your limited herring is done. Does good herring, let me rephrase this. Bad herring and good herring, is there such a thing? Yes, if you're buying herring that's yellowed, if it has blood in the packages, if it looks like your herring's been through a meat grinder or been left out in the sun all day and it's frozen, probably not a good idea. You want your herring to look like they were just caught. Which looks like what? 
that guy. Clear eyes, most of the scales are there. We're jigging them so they're not as nicely kept as some of the baits that are commercially harvested, but they do just fine that way. Lay these in there. That goes over that, that goes over that. Sealed herring, the bait of champions. So there you go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I know it's a short video, but yeah, that's how you catch herring and how to keep it nice and preserved until you get to vacuum packing, which is also really important to do because it's going to be sitting in the freezer and you don't want it to be freezer burned. All right, see you guys out there.